Good. What's up YouTube? I'm Trent Weldon. Welcome back to the channel Weldon Aquatics. Tonight we are going to place an anemone, an 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 we're placing an anemone in the tank. So one thing that I have been wanting to get for the new reef tank, and there's a reason I'm wearing some latex gloves, is we are placing this massive anemone in the tank tonight, uh, specifically for my two clownfish. So we have a regular clownfish in here, we also have the mocha clown in here, and I really wanted to get an anemone in this tank to allow them to host that, hopefully. And after watching uh, Ray's Aquaria latest video, when she talked about going to a pet co to find an anemone, I was actually kind of surprised I was near one and went in today and found this massive anemone for 15 bucks. I, I, I'm really glad I, t I followed the advice of Ray's Aquarium to go look at Petco for an anemone. So we're gonna get this out of the bag and place it in the tank and hopefully it's gonna stay. So I think they called this like a, a Haitian anemone. This is actually really weird to feel. I actually never felt one. <laughs> so we are gonna pick this guy up, hopefully, and attempt to place it in the tank. Feels like rubber. This is insane. That was kind of pure accident, but that actually may go where it wants to go. So anemones are kind of cool that way. They will move if they're not happy. So this is going to be really interesting to see what happens uh, with this anemone. Okay, right, guys, thank you very much for joining me. So that is it. We finally got the anemone placed. I found a spot in the rocks that we slightly attached itself to. Uh, it's going to be a learning curve for me. I've never kept one. I know they're, they definitely are alive. It is quite, to, I don't know if I want to even call it a coral, but it, it's, it's an anemone. It's in the tank now. I'm super excited about it for the size of it and the cost of it. So it, what, it did look really healthy at that particular Petco, and I hope it's going to remain healthy here in the tank. So I'm going to be watching this over the next few days to make sure that it... Uh, Sorry, we interrupted that broadcast for the very, very important Tucker attacking my fish in another tank. And that was a very, very kind of a sneak peek at what else we got going on down here. But really, guys, thank you for joining me. So we're going to I'll keep updating you on this tank and the anemone to see how this keeps going. And hopefully everything goes well with it. So again, thank you for joining me. We'll see you guys next time. So it's been about two days since the last portion of this video where we talked about the, uh, the new anemone for this tank. And I kind of want to give you an update on it. It's been really interesting uh, watching this anemone. It's actually kind of a new life one I've never kept before. So I wanted to, you know, a couple days later, bring, in, bring you on an update. Um, unfortunately, I will be sitting for most of this video from the time I'm filming this video to when you'll actually see this video. Some time will pass, but the time I'm filming this I took a pretty nasty fall on the ice yesterday and kind of screwed up my legs. So won't be moving around too much on this portion of the video. But we're still going to do our best because I really want to show you all, show you this anemone. It's kind of, it's just fascinating to watch. So we're here in the 65 gallon tank. Um, we still got a lot of updates to do on this tank. But on the last portion, we we're talking about the, the, the new anemone for the clownfish that I have in this tank. Well, <laughs> Tucker wants to come say hi. He's down here with us. So we're going to flip the camera around and give you kind of a brief update. So I was, so actually here right in front, you can see we have a regular clownfish, but we also have a mocha clownfish. Uh, my wife actually picked out the mocha clownfish there and she has named the mocha Luna and the regular Sunny. And then I just saw it. I have a six line wrasse in here. We have the yellow tang in here. 
So it's also kind of just to give you, you know, really an update on the stocking of this tank as well. I haven't really shown that off yet. Oh, there's a the six line ras. Oh, he keeps disappearing into the rocks. They're right there. Cool little purple fish. But we're gonna focus more on the anemone right now. It's actually fascinating how it was able to attach itself. So this was the, the main rock I was able to get it to attach to. And I actually turned off my circulation pumps uh, in the tank for the night that I got it to attach. But then that following morning, we had a big snowstorm come through, it killed the power. So the pumps actually kicked back on to the strength they're at. Uh, and the anemone has not moved yet. So I'm really interested to watch this. Um, this is a, you know, this will need to eat. And if they're not happy in the flow they're in, they'll actually detach themselves and move themselves around the tank. So I am really curious to see what happens with this, but so far, so good. I have not seen the clownfish interact with it much yet, but I do know that the clowns have definitely been more active since it's been put in the tank. Uh, actually, all the fish have been more active. You know, with the light schedule on now, the pump's going. Uh, you know, this six line ras used to never come out, but everybody seems to be really happy in the tank right now. All right guys, so there we have it. There is the, the, the anemone, the new anemone that we bought from Petco in the 65 gallon reef tank, the Weldo 65. Uh, I'm really interested and curious to see how this tank continues to progress. So we got a lot of updates still to do. I've got a lot of videos I just wanna put out on this. And I'm really excited to continue with the stocking and bring you along for this journey. So thank you everybody for joining me. I know depending on when I air this video, it may, you may see some things I haven't talked about yet but I promise that we'll get you caught up on everything and I really think this is gonna be a fun series. So again, thank you and we'll see you guys on the next one.